Hey, Wayne said here, prosper with Wayne, creating health, wealth, and happiness in your life. I want to talk to you today about goal setting and the Word of God. Goal setting and the Word of God. Now, those who know me, I am a Christian entrepreneur. That means I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm a minister of the gospel. I also believe in taking that and moving throughout the world in every place that we go. As an entrepreneur, as a business leader, I want to talk to you today about goal setting and the Word of God. So I'm going to jump into the Word here. We're going to read a couple of passages. And I'm going to advise you always, when somebody's teaching you, and always go back and study what they're teaching. Check them out. Also, when they're teaching you from the Word of God, open up the Word yourself. So, hey, hit the pause button, grab your Bible. So, let's go into, uh, we're going to Proverbs 2018. It says, plan to see through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. Now, Proverbs 15, 22. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Do you have advisors in your life, coaches, mentors, people that you're going to, consultants that are teaching you? Okay, Proverbs 16, 9. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Proverbs 16, 3. Commit your actions unto the Lord and your plans will succeed. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. That's Proverbs 19, 21. And this one is the one I was actually praying this morning. I was praying them this morning. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your ways or your own, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. So it tells us here: seek first God, seek his way, seek his wisdom. And then make plans, seek counsel. Listen, I always go to God first, but then I go to other people. I go to coaches, mentors, business partners. I go to people that I trust. I go to people that have done. Think about this. You want to go to people that have accomplished what you're looking to accomplish. If you want to become a certified life coach and make a six-figure income doing it, then contact us. Get our, Get your free book. LifeCoachLifestyle.com. If you want to start another type of business, then find someone that's done it. When I got involved in network marketing, what did we do? We went to the number one income earner in the company. The number one income earner in the company happened to live right here in the same state as I am and said, hey, I want to see what you're doing. I want to know what you're doing. Teach me. So I went and I took their advice. I take their counsel. When we do anything, go to those who have done the Bible's very clear. If you're looking to succeed, also seek out counsel. There's too many people today. I'm gonna talk to my I'm gonna talk to my fellow Christians. You think, well, God loves me, He'll bless me, and you just move forward without seeking counsel from the people that God has placed around you. You're placing faith that God's gonna give you what you need. Yes, He does. And He gives it through people. He gives it through other people. So you must, if you're going to build a business, you're gonna build a lifestyle, you're gonna create help wealth and happiness, then make sure that you're connecting with somebody that has done it, that can give you good advice. We see this. Open up the book of Proverbs. Open up the book of Proverbs. Read through the book. Lots of wisdom, lots of advice, and if you'll follow that advice, you'll also gain the benefits. So, this is Wayne Sutton, prosperwithwayne.com. Be sure to pick up our book. I just talked about it a few minutes ago. Life Coach You, how you can become a six-figure Life Coach, certified, trained, and get all the marketing material you'll need. LifeCoachLifestyle.com. The book's free. Have a great day.